us cannot practice without without it so the basic importance of the alliance is its source it is pure in its source the symptoms the keynotes which are derived uh, from the various provings and cures not only from the provings but from the cures and which are very authentic from our legends from our pioneers are combined in a concise format and that shaped into the allen's keynotes second uh, as i said it is repeatedly confirmed and there are easy and most reliable in practice why i said easy i will uh, share some examples when i got admission in uh, national institute of homeopathy kolkata where the in uh, where there is uh, in kolkata allen's keynotes is very rampantly used each and every student each and every practitioner and each and every uh, teacher of metro america used uh, use this uh, book in their teaching in their studies and in their practice also so if you go if you have to uh, give a metro america examination in west bengal or in kolkata on the west bengal in the hills you must be thorough in your allen's keynotes so new to this uh, um, environment uh, i came from maharashtra and we all know in maharashtra we have this um, uh, um, other thoughts or the other methodologies where we are in uh, habit of taking whole case having its analysis having its mentals then we repertorize it then we came to the conclusion and it's a very lengthy process so first of all i was not aware of this uh, uh, this type of prescription i will give you some few examples when i first got admitted in the nih one of my uh, teacher dr uh, mm mm datta sir came to the uh, to the uh, uh, classroom and he and he saw one girl having this uh, marks on his uh, on her um, arms that small 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 marks and he saw few eruptions also there and he inquired but uh, what you are not what you have taken uh, the girl was got um, astonished and said nothing sir for what for your this marks and this your eruptions she said no sir i have taken many medicines and i didn't got any results from any medicine dr mm told beta take lidampal 200 one dose and nothing else he inquired nothing more than this so anybody can guess what remedy he had given to that girl or my fellow colleague at that time anybody anybody you can mention your uh, you can <coughs> give your uh, uh, opinions in chat also no okay we had okay we have given uh, ladon pal so in one dose after that one dose whole her eruptions went away whole her black discoloration gone away and if you see in um, allen's key note there is a line long discoloration after injuries what happen when you scratch the eruptions it makes an injury and after injury it leaves an impression it it, it leaves an black spot which are very much difficult to fed we give many remedies like natrumul soranum berberis but after this where we have put much more uh, scratching to the your skin self injury i like we can say and after that this type of eruptions got fed away but the discoloration remains we have only one remedy which acts beautifully is lidam pa so that's how i got interested i got fascinated about allen's keynotes
and then i started studying it then i started uh, reading more and more and as doctor uh, 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 vidya said that i am a expert of alan kinod no i am not i am just a beginner i after 5 years of my practice and 4 years of uh, in kolkata i had learned only to how just i i only uh, i'm just beginning uh, i mean beginning to understand alans i'm not even close to uh, uh, understand it i'm just beginning i mean i am in my beginning stage because many of our masters uh, our teachers in kolkata are using uh, uh, keynotes day um, day by day since many years and they even uh, and at that stage also they told us that is this symptom in alans i have seen it in first time so that depth that much of depth that much of uh, potential uh, the alans keynotes can serve in uh, treating a patient if you have this book in at your bedside at your clinic side then you can treat each and every elements uh, in the world without hesitation and with full confidence so just moving forward we can uh, learn about who was alan and what is oh, oh, we can uh, just learn about who was uh, who he was or the some a uh, background about the author also the legend itself dr s c allen was a, a ardent follower of organum he wrote many of these books like keynotes of matra medica that what we are discussing now matra medica of nozules therapeutics of intermittent fever and therapeutics of tuberculous affections now each and every uh thing got a story behind each book had a story about about his making so the story was how alan keynotes got into its shape right now how the alan keynotes was made so the story the inside story i am going to share from which you can learn what how much important the allen's keynote was first of all the author sc allen was not a single remedy prescriber in his early days he used to prescribe many remedies he was to do polypharmacy one day he got uh, he got a, uh, he got one uh, article in some magazine that uh, where there was written that uh, a physician Uh, uh, told his uh, success about uh, dif- in treating diphtheria. He said that I can cure any diphtheria case with single remedy and single dose. With this uh, sentence, uh, Doctor Allen thought it's maybe some exaggeration, exaggeration of the uh, of the st- of the author. and he said that it is not possible to cure diphtheria like diseases it with only one single remedy and with single dose so he searched the author and the author was dr lippe and we all know that how a uh, marvelous prescriber dr lippe was dr lippe he was a master and a precise prescriber so when he came Uh, in contact with lippe lippe took him to every house where he gave diphtherinum or where he gave his remedy for um, uh, for his uh, for the, uh, for the diphtheria to treat the patient after seeing so many cases of diphtheria after attending so many sessions with dr lippe finally dr allen became the follower of single remedy and the organ then he wrote about lippe that maybe not in every case but in most of the case only the single remedy 
which is prescribed at first and single dose cured diphtheria cases in many cases and he then became the follower of dr lippe and he started studying with him and he became the ardent follower and then he uh, jointly <clears throat> and with dr henning he wrote this allen keynotes same with dr herring herring lippe was uh, there was much um, uh, some controversy with they, they have some uh, uh, difference of views at that time dr lippe and dr herring but when dr uh, herring suffered from, from hemorrhoids he came to dr lippe to got treatment to get to get a treatment and he said that i got this medicine also i got this medicine also but it doesn't cure it doesn't cure so uh, dr lippe prescribed him some medicine and sent him away dr herring came the next day and he said dr lippe i am not getting any results i am not getting any better dr lippe said just wait for four days give it a four days then came to me and after four days all the hemorrhoidal pain all the complaint of dr herring was vanished can anybody guess the remedy which was given by dr lippe to dr herring if you have boric then just read it from the mind the last line of the mind from the boric where it is written that thinking aggravates the hemorrhoidal complaint and at that symptom dr lippe gave dr herring the costicum and dr herring got better and he was also a fan of dr lippe then then dr herring dedicated his third volume to dr lippe they conjointly made a metro medica which we known as guiding symptoms of our homeopathic metro medica where not only proved but cured symptoms mostly the cured and authentic cured symptoms are listed and from that pure and cured symptoms which are verified again and again again and again many of by many physicians by many practitioners that, that group of symptoms was chosen by dr allen and he made, he wrote a book which we know as allen keynotes so this much pure and this much authentic the book uh, the the allen keynotes where you get the experience and the confirmation of many physician at that time who are uh, truly following the organ and truly following the metromedic and the principles of our homeopathy so this is the story of our allen keynotes isn't it in interesting why allen why allen as we are discussed that um, what we can say um genine book where we can rely where from in our generation from uh, where uh, uh, at time when we have passed our bhms or this modern era in 20, 10 to 20 years these literatures are took a, a back seat in the minds of every physicians and every uh, uh, student and they are more and more uh, going towards the contemporary homeopathy where uh, the scenarios or the teachings are changing from year to year or the one decade there is another theory and the other decade is another theory but from many years this book haven't changed the result it delivers haven't changed so that's why i urge everyone to just start 
reading and looking this book and with this book you can't imagine what you can do you can see 100 to 200 patient i have seen many practitioners in kolkata like dr sarkar dr alan khan dr adhikari dr subhas singh dr <clears throat> um uh, azhar khan sir who see 100 100 and 150 patients per day and their prescriptions are very quick and precise the main thing behind their success and this precision is they follow this book by heart imagine you have 120 patients in your opd you have to give one or two minute hardly to a patient how you can prescribe in that time how you can take a case in that short time how you can elicit the characteristic how you can elicit the correct similem isn't it bit impossible for our contemporary <clears throat> approach but with this book you can achieve that much of depth that much of quickness in your practice so moving forward what is alan if anybody have book everybody have alan key notes with them sorry please unmute everybody if you don't okay you can uh, send me in chat if you don't have please uh, bring your alan key notes with you have it with you okay so how to read it how to read this book i learn uh, i used to read it when i used uh, when uh, i used to prepare it for for the uh, uh, for the exam of national institute of homeopathy in for my pg entrance i have to i have to read it i read it more than uh, four or five times at that time but i didn't uh, got any clue that did uh, this uh, this book is so much important in practice because i haven't had that uh, knowledge how to read it and how to grasp it in that way. i used to read it like line by line so that i can used to tick a mcq correctly but after i went to kolkata and i saw it from many of my seniors like dr navin singh many of my teachers like dr mm datta sir dr adhikari sir that they have this perception they have this unique style of reading and applying this alan key notes they used to say that that legendary prescriber dr s k dubey sir used to read alan key notes every day from from his journey to his from his uh, in the in between the journey from his home to the river ganges he used to go there every every day to bath in the ganges and in between that time he used to every he used to read every day alan key notes and he did it for consecutively 12 years and that's why he can tell about why where is this remedy where the full stop is given where the comma is given where to prescribe in between the lines where to prescribe from in between the lines so we are going to so i am going to share you uh, how to read the allen key note in a proper way in a most practical way so first of all we divide every drug of allen key notes in four parts okay it will be more easy to divide the allen key notes in four parts it is written in that way okay we don't know that's a different thing but it is written in that way okay so there are four parts of every remedy which is given in allen key notes a remedy if you take a remedy first parts are first important parts part is first few lines of the allen key notes 
first two, first three, maybe four, maybe five. First few lines. Then, which are followed by next few lines, which are less, which are more deeper, or which uh, which covers the general symptoms. Then there are some pathological conditions are given, and the relations and morality at the last. So we will describe it. Don't be get confused. We we are describing it one by one. So first few lines. First few lines, just like uh, if you take any drug, there are first few lines which cover the whole gist. a whole spear and whole action of this remedy like arnica for the sanguine temperament full of blood and red lines and these first few lines are most important this few lines describe the remedy in nutshell consider it as a genus where which Allen had described in in three or four lines. Boger had described in one word, like sepia draghi. Boger, but Allen had elicited whole nature of or the whole axis of remedy in these two or four lines. Then comes the next few lines. The next few lines consist of. either a uh, indicating cause from where the or the elements from then mostly the general complaints of patient not the particular but the general complaints of the patient and then there may be a grand characteristic at that time and in the in this between line we can find a grand characteristic followed by that he had given some pathological condition or some clinical conditions where with that peculiar condition some distinguishing characteristic condition is given or there must be some location or maybe modality itself has been given at with this pathological condition or a relation with the other symptom or any condition or a concomitant is given with the pathological condition we will take this one by one and we will understand with the help of remedy then we have relations and modality this is the most important pointers for the differentiation differentiation of the remedy as we all know this is the modalities are most important because we have to differentiate with this remedy we have sore limb pain uh, ache aggravated with cloudy weather but modalities are different with rustox modalities are different with rhododendron modalities are different with bryony and then there is a guide to follow up or selection for a second prescription we have drosera fails we give sina if a if a patient having cough 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 dry cough and you are going drosera 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 but the patient is not improving fully then which remedy we will give will give sina so this type of genuine practical clinical tips are given at the last of the remedy where relation and modality is given okay everybody understood it okay good to go okay so we will take uh up till now anyone have any query you can inbox us at the chat 
Uh, hello, sir. This is me, Prachi. Please uh, tell the youngsters that to read it from the old uh, edition and not the rearranged and reclassified that version. Because when I went okay. to college, and, yes, in 2001 and 2, they came up with 9th and 10th edition, which was rearranged and classified. So we don't get to read the first line as it is given in the older editions. It yeah. or, uh, Yes, so please tell them because the young guns, the young hotshots, they don't, <laughs> they may not even have that edition, you know, seventh or eighth or even before that. Yeah, so. we, are, we are coming Asana to that. Zunia edition, Anna. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We are coming to that later. We 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 uh, we have to uh, we have to. Uh, it's good that you have pointed it first, but I'm coming it to later. But uh, oh yeah, uh, this is also the one of the case that you don't buy the rearranged Allen keynotes. You have to buy. Um, the original keynote that is uh, which is not a rear end, which is published by bj you can easily get uh, from uh, any from the amazon or from any uh, bookstore please don't buy the corrected or the rearranged allen keynotes okay thank you dr prachi for this and now <clears throat> okay so just revise it once again how to read a remedy just divide the uh, drug the remedy into four parts first first few lines maybe two maybe four maybe six then there will be the lines which will indicate the cause the complaints and maybe there will be there may be a grand characteristic third there it is followed by then pathological and clinical condition and then last we have relation and modalities okay the whole uh, every remedy in Allen keynotes is divided or we can divide this uh, uh, every remedy in these four parts. So let's take an example to uh, how, uh, have it easy. We will take the most used drug in our day to day practice, which is Naxomica. So if you have your Allen keynotes, Please read first few lines of Naxomica. Okay, it is written that first that is adapted to thin, irritable, careful, zealous persons with dark hair and bilious or sanguine temperament. Okay, this describes the whole Naxomica patient, how he will look. He will be thin. He will be irritable, he will be careful, he will be zealous, and he have dark hair. Okay, if you get this picture, you can consider Nux Vomica as one of the remedy. I'm not saying the remedy, but one of the remedy. Then it is written, disposed to be quarrelsome, spitful, malicious nervous, melancholic, debauchers of a thin, irritable, nervous disposition, prone to indigestion and hemorrhage. So a patient has arrived to your clinic. He is sitting in the waiting area and you are now in your chamber attending some other patient. This patient came, you had given him appointment that you should come at seven o'clock and he had carefully came at seven o'clock and you are busy with some with some other patients due to some problem or mismanagement or something there are two more patients waiting before him and your attendant said that you have to wait and uh, after these two patients we will allow you to go and talk with the doctor but this patient will not tolerate this and he will have a scenario it at home, a scene it at clinic that no i will not go there no they, they can go before me i you tell me that uh, you came at seven o'clock i am here at seven o'clock and i will not allow anyone uh, to go <clears throat> before me because you gave me time from this you can um, 
identify that this is a nux formic operation with second lines which will for what they come then it had happened you have settled the patient you have talked with the patient and he came to your clinic first maybe what complaints what he have indigestion mostly hemorrhoids with it is uh, nothing um, compulsory that the every nux stomica patient you have will have indigestion or hemorrhage but these patients will have this type of symptoms as a concomitant with them maybe he had come uh, maybe he had came for coryza maybe he had come for his other mental issues but you may have this symptom as his character for example a patient came for his coryza i have this allergy to rhinitis which not let me see whenever i wake up i will got sneezing okay what else you have yeah doctor sir this is the main thing but i can also suffer for indigestion and also have some problems of hemorrhoids so that way he can present your picture and that is summarized in first few lines of allen kinnon so you can easily identify your main or the one of the remedy as naxomica from this very few lines of introduction maybe you are not getting anything if you have got this much you can prescribe reliably on that and you will are get uh, you will get beautiful results on this much also if you get if you have a patient which is irritable thin which have the indigestion which is quarrelsome which is spitful having dark hair if you don't have nothing just prescribing naxomica you will get results so this covers the remedy this few lines covers the remedy in its nutshell okay and also nux is cheap uh, what hanuman has said about nux is that nux is cheaply successful with persons of an ardent character he will not let go he will he will never let go any person before him he will quarrel with you he will quarrel with your attendant he will quarrel with that patient also but he will never let go that patient uh, before him he will and he is irritable impatient temperament jaldi fast 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 disposed to anger spit also deception if we have patient you see you see, you see a nux formica patient after that he will have his revenge on you so after you had taken the case and uh, you have given the remedy and you told the hot mess please that this this much or oh, doctor i don't have so much please take only this so he will have revenge on you he will deceive you he will not pay your your full fees maybe that doctor let me wait for one hour i will never give him his full fees i will deceive him i will teach him a lesson that next time when i come he will let me in for the uh, uh, as uh, as per the appointment as per the time i had uh, he uh, i was ordered to me okay that's how the naxomica patient and you can now picturize a whole naxomica patient from these few lines okay next then came the later line for the later parts of the remedy where cause has been given the patient will say i have too much of coffee i took too much of tobacco i drink a lot i eat meat i highly spicy foods and i have this very stressful job where i can't couldn't sleep fully and that's why for this to be get fresh i used to take this vitamin i used to i uh, <clears throat> i take this revital tabs 
i get this type of uh, energy booster and i i have to sit in this very um, the cold chamber where ac has been on full time and after that i get this trouble so the causes are mentioned after that so you can relate your um, above lines with this cause too much of coffee too much of tobacco okay it is also best medicine nowadays <clears throat> we are hearing in this covid symptoms also where patients are taking various mixtures various kadhas various bitter uh, uh, bitter medicines some pills some remedies to improve the their immunities okay what which ultimately leads to indigestion and piles many kadhas many immunity immunity booster uh, many uh, uh, home remedies which we are having are causing this type of symptoms and now we are we can imagine what nak somika picture looks like okay we are getting lots of patient that eating sir we had this uh, herbal kada for four months which is good for immunity we we had we had taken it as in in hot form like a tea three or four times a day to improve our medicine and now we are suffering from acidity we are suffering from piles sir please give us some remedy and if the symptoms are corresponding you can give naxomika isn't it easy isn't it cooperating with our present condition present situation no need to take half a half hour of history okay next there will be a some grand characteristic okay what is the grand characteristic it's given it is whenever the patient has convulsion he will be conscious he will tell you that i got this convulsion when i was going to this road then it is suddenly something has occurred to me and i was lying fit lying in like that having uh, and convulsing and some so many people were looking at me but i couldn't move i couldn't do anything he will describe each and every scenario each and every frame where uh, from where he had passed so and it is very unusual to a epileptic patient to remember what he has experienced during the convulsions okay and again what is a modality is also given and what is modality that it is aggravated by anger aggravated by emotion aggravated by touch aggravated by moving aggravated by it dot 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 whatever may be the exciting factor if a patient is having convulsion with consciousness you are bound to give naxomika and naxomika will never fail okay then we have tendency to faint these patients will faint easily from what from odors in morning mainly in pregnancy after eating and after every labor pain whenever the tenesmus is coming whenever the contractions are coming he is getting fainted at that time patient has been elected for the cesarean section because the patient cannot bear the pain in labor whenever the contractions are coming patient getting and the 
and he cannot push the baby at that time the surgeon has the gynecologist has advised cesarean section but you can save uh, the patient from having cesarean section by giving nux vomica and this is the characteristic of nux vomica in labor pain not every time gelsemium or colophyllum will going to help you have to go for this exact symptom the grand characteristic okay then what we have then we have another few lines what what type of patient uh, we have in naxomika what uh, what was his general picture he will be very sensitive to every impression or oh, doctor i have get headache from everything there will be a slight noise at that door na i i it will i can't bear it that's something had happened at my workplace which had bothered me and had and i started having this headache and i can't tolerate any word i am so much sensitive that i can't tolerate any word okay that's how patient will describe you in first few line what have, what we have seen that how the patient will look what you can observe okay this information will not be given by the patient that sir i am thin i am irritable i am spit no 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 this you have to observe and this is given in first few lines okay that he is irritable he is deception he has having died is dark hair and in next line you can assess which we can assess from the patient and that will be subject to symptoms that i had this now i got this then i am having this with this i am having this next i am i am this sir i am very sensitive i can't stand any word my boss and me have fight daily sometimes i feel to quit a job i can't uh, tolerate any often any uh, any word from him because i am careful at my work and i will not tolerate this type of behavior from my boss because i am i am uh, very careful in my work if you get these lines remember you are close to your prescription to naxomic okay aren't it easy to remember this way aren't it easy to understand this way okay so first we have the objective picture which have the naxomica in nutshell then we have a subjective picture which support their first objective picture and then we are getting to other detail which might be now we can use it in the various elements and the various pathological conditions or the clinical conditions so you have an irritable patient you have and quarrelsome patient which is over sensitive which used to have lots of mental exertion lots of ha having uh, indulge in many uh, other um, uh, abuses like sexual like alcoholic like tobacco and then he came to you and he said sir i am mean, i am having backache so what you will look in naxomica patient to prescribe him naxomica that he is a naxomica so there are now conditions are given like fever like backache like diarrhea like constipation and with this there are some conditions are given so you have to look now that this backache is naxomica when the backache will be a naxomica backache when the patient will say doctor i am having this backache which is used to aggravate at night it is so much so that i can't turn in bed i used to 
sit like this from this i have to sit like this and then slowly slowly i have to turn in way with this perfect symptom and above observation and the subject to patient now you can easily understand the snapsomica patient again when <clears throat> many times nakshumika will present as uh, uh, you can give nakshumika in many fever patient many fever cases demands nakshumika we um, in spite of nakshumika we may we unknowingly give gelsimium belladonna <clears throat> arsenic for the high fever but if a patient is came to your clinic with being covered and being shaky at this time of season and you just said that sir doctor please give me some medicine i am suffering from this i can't tolerate this something you give please give something doctor and okay okay i will uh, <clears throat> i will see you and then i will give you some medicine okay please just check your temperature or you can uh, now uh, assess with your um, temperature gun also and the temperature is 99.5 at this small temperature he is having this shakiness and he is being covered so he is over sensitive and he was having great heat whole body is burning but with slight this maybe it is it will be slight maybe it will be high but whenever the patient will came to your clinic it has to be wrapped up he wants to be covered up and with this and with a dose of nakshomika 30 200 according situation half an hour i i tell my patient to sit outside in waiting room i gave them one dose or two dose after 10 minutes or 15 minutes mostly and by end of a 15 or 20 minutes the fever will be down by 0.5 or 1 degree and then i easily <clears throat> send them home with the placebo or some uh, extra doses of nakshomika whenever it will be needed and the nakshomika will cover the fever beauty will no need of giving any paracetamol but if you get this type fever fever is attended with chills and the patient wants to be covered so for fever nakshomika wants to be covered and it would it must be chilly okay for constipation whenever the patient having constipated so we have different type of uh, uh, different we have one complaint that is constipation but we have different expressions of it some patients will have no desire some patients will have desire but it will be unsatisfactory and some patient will have desire they go to stool but it doesn't satisfy them for nakshomika there are frequent desire for stool whenever you get a whenever a patient said i am not uh, getting a fresh feel after i came from the toilet or my from my morning urges please inquire in depth don't try it constipation uh, uh, blindly please inquire how you what is the character that you go for the um, toilets for the often you pass stools very often or you don't pass it you pass it but you don't get satisfactory uh, satisfaction after passing results what type of constipation he is having so if whenever there is constipation in nakshomika patient he will have this ineffectual urges he will pass three or four stool but never get satisfied then there will be alternate constipation and diarrhea in persons who have taken purgatives all their lives a patient will came and say sir 
I am having these problems from 10 years and 15 years and I'm taking this churan, this isab goal from many times. And because of that, whenever I take it, I used to go <clears throat> for, I'm having diarrhea. After that, <clears throat> I get, uh, I get this constipated feeling where I used to go many times, but the stool doesn't pass or it passes in very small quantities. Okay, so a pathological condition is given. Now its peculiarity is also given. So this is the constipation of Nakamura. So this is how the various pathological conditions after this are written with their characteristic and you will reach at the third point of confirmation. Okay, and then there is a most important part that is relations. You have given Naxomika. It had acted well. Now what to do? After that, what we remedy have to give? It is given that you can uh, <clears throat> that sulfur after Naxomika sulfur will follow. Or and you don't have you can never give zinc. Okay. You have patient which is restless with restless feet, he, who is also irritable, who is also restless. And now you think that Naxomika had done something, I have to give a big remedy. And now you will prescribe this with fidelity of legs. You are thinking of zinc, but you see in relation that it is inimical because it is look like same. Okay, so we can also get the confirmation or the some idea regarding our second prescription how to move forward in the case what will happen after naxomika so your plan of treatment will be ready that after this maybe this symptom will come so i have to be prepared with this just like when you have uh, if you have given a uh, if you have given a patient a naxomika maybe not from the allen's keynote with proper case taking, but it is not acted. So what we have to give? It is platinum. Because it is same angry, it is same haughty, same picture. You have just seen that picture from the one side. It may have, it may, it may be platina. So if Nux failed, your second plan is no. Okay. You are the patient is look like Naxomika. I have taken this case beautifully, but Naxomika is not acted. So if I think the Naxomika is the remedy, but it has not acted, what now can, what can I do now? Now I will see that, oh, it is Zilan. I personally uh, call this as interrelation. It is not given in relationship. It is given in something somewhere in the remedy that that was uh, what I call as interrelation. It is, they are related internally. So for me, the plan is ready. Yeah, Naxomika I have given, it is not lower bidule. Let's now find out if the patient is platina. So that's why in platina it is written that when a constipated patient is not getting better with Naxomika, you have to give platina. And the vice versa, if the platina, if you have seen a patient and given platina and it has not given you any result, no need to give any antisoric, no need to give you any, uh, uh, any, and, any nozod, please check for the that, that isn't it a plumbum? So you will have the next backup plan with your hand, like in umbilical hernia when naxomi if you given naxomika with child for umbilical hernia and it has not improved you have our your next remedy at your hand you not be helpless and it will be calculus and then there comes a part of modalities modalities are so important to differentiate in between the remedies as we all know where is uh, uh, in Rustox and Brania, our classical example, arsenic and sickle core. That's like, we have this fine, fine modalities from which we have to differentiate the remedies. Like Nux Moscata and Nux Tomica, both have fentings. 
both have some same group of symptoms but if a patient is affected in dry winds like this time of winter if he has some fever and uh, he is special patient is having fever and chills we can think of nux musca a uh, nux vomica and if it is a time of rainy season and the patient is so lethargic he can't cope up with you doctor or is the child who is very sleepy and he is thirstless then we can think of nux moscata so these simple simple things will help you prescribe very precisely in the similar looking medicines okay okay are you getting me any um any queries up till now you can unmute your mic dr vidya so we can we can uh, we have a next example also so i can rectify all these doubts in the next example if yep. you have any doubt please tell now so i can rectify it in the next remedy example we can unmute all and we can have some yeah. conversation going after that so because it is very important to understand this basic thing <clears throat> after this we will read uh, allens you can, you will see every remedy in allens you know differently completely different way and it will be more interesting more fun to read and more fun to prescribe uh, there all the participants can unmute themselves or everybody who have some questions any any when have queries any when you have doubts i can rectify i will rectify i will try to rectify that in the next example but if you have any uh, doubts or you want some thing clarity about anything you just ask me now so that i can give it in i can explain it in this the next example in a better way am i too fast am i too slow am i too boring no it was a perfect for me it was a perfect presentation wonderful so beautifully laid out all the information very sequential you know it was amazing thank you so much actually and i think all yes. the participants also <laughs> <laughs> i assume that you are my host so that you 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 are, you are bound to talk to me with you uh, with nice words no so i can <laughs> <laughs> no there i can show some of the chat <laughs> and everybody in between i was reading in between those chats and i think everybody was having a lovely time but i would want them to speak it out <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so we we have one uh, uh, remedy also the next remedy we have one more example to uh, to give, to show you but if you have any doubts any uh, queries or any questions regarding uh, this uh, type uh, of uh, uh, ranjanda avanch ranjan avanch query was there uh, many of the times uh, when we refer to allen's keynote no uh -huh. there is always a set of certain symptoms which are black lettered and bold yeah, and there yeah. are italics and then there are the normal font uh, words and yeah. one more thing uh, many a times there is a comparative remedy given always in the bracket where some certain uh, similarity with some any other remedy is followed yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so can you please, uh, it's a good way to study comparative metronomic yeah. just want yeah to, okay no uh, how uh, yeah. i wanted to know how we study comparatively okay so uh, just an example uh, that uh, uh, yeah what was your question once once again huh? it was about the it was about the different uh, letters different letters because in italian okay. so it it falls in it falls in this this category okay which is the like this this is the bold one over sensitive okay the next few lines which describe the patient and this is bold because it is verified more and more 
rather uh, in comparison to the other symptoms that's why we saw very few lines which are bold which are italics in every remedy there are not only bolds but there are also italic lines you can consider it as a third grade symptom second grade symptom for but every line in um, Allen's remedy is very important, but it is bold because it is verified in provings in the clinical fields and in by the experience of the physicians also that the nothing will be over sensitive. Okay, like we have in Caladium, pruritus vulvi. It is bold. Okay, so. Because it is found that if you have pruritus will be more indicating drug is caladium. Most of not always, but that's why it for in pruritus will be caladium is very good medicine. It will never fail if the other uh, um, uh, symptoms also match. Okay, so what is? Okay, one. Okay, okay. Is it okay, Vansh? Okay, okay, yes. So, and the next question is to study it comparably. Many other, many remedies are given in the bracket. Okay, it means that it means that uh, it means that um, that this symptom is not belong to this specific remedy. It belong to some other remedy also. Just like that, a uh, over sensitive patient. If we have you have uh, over sensitive patients. Who have sensitive to noise, to odors, to light or music, but he is much affected by wet winds in the cloudy seasons, in the in the rainy seasons. Then you prescribe Nux Mosqueta. If you have these symptoms and you have this remedy, uh, this modality with the join of these two symptoms, you can prescribe Nux Mosqueta. That yes, we have. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree. In that you have to remember. You have trifling elements, unbearable chamomilla, okay? But the stools are different, but patient is better by carrying. That is not the uh, condition with Naxomica. Okay? Are, are, are you getting me? So this is the uh, this is uh, this is the way you can difference differentiate between the closely uh, the close remedy or you cannot uh, you can uh, you have to remember that for this symptom we have this remedies for this symptom we have this remedy that is muddy phase you have lyco natrum your thuja plumbum okay you have greasy phase in Allen's, you have greasy phase. There are remedies are thuja, plumbum, uh, so <clears throat> natrum mure, and uh, lagopodium. So you have to remember if you see a patient with this greasy phase, he have constipation, desire sweet and warm, lyco. If a patient is having headache, I'm just giving example, he will having headache, desire for salt, aggravated by sun heat, natrum mure. 
if a patient having backache cannot rest free from his seeds without bending desire for onion thuja a case of constipation where stools are very painful with bleeding and we have lintin and hardened tendons we have plumber okay so th that's how you can differentiate a symptom with the other remedies because there are there is a rival for that symptom so you have to you have to uh, convince yourself before prescribing any remedy that this remedy which i am choosing is correct because i have differentiated at these many levels okay he has got it data yes okay. yes okay so we uh, now we can move forward okay next remedy is causticum so <clears throat> causticum is also a day to day remedy so now we will see a picture we are sitting in our opd a patient has came and you look you look at the patient and your case taking starts from that point the patient is having dark hair rigid fiber the body is rigid built very weak but he is weak soric mind well this is a very other topic but we will discuss it later he is soric with excessively yellow complexion it may be jaundice it may be anemia and subject to affections of respiratory and urinary tracts either the patient will come this or it may indicate he have a urinary infection or an asthma you can tell you can sense the patient from the door and if it's children then he have dark hair delicate eyes sensitive in repertory we have uh, uh, one uh, causticum has only one remedy for weeping after scolding this samrubik so that we many time we prescribe pulsatilla blindly for this weepy children who who will have who we have this uh, who are weep who weeps at every little <coughs> um, anger or every little, little uh, rage but the other remedy which is a rival for pulsatilla in children cases is causticum and what is the difference between pulsatilla and causticum causticum is constipated pulsatilla is diarrhea why see allen key notes or see boric in rectum you will see that in pulsatilla two or three normal stools per day it is given in italics that's how you can differentiate okay so a patient is came this was this this was his uh look you sense the patient at that way and now we can move forward then he will say the complaints what he is having he is having rawness and soreness in the scalp throat respiratory oh it is so much pain here so much pain so much pain okay and from which he has get this from any anger or any from night watching okay the most important part is the cause when a patient came with a paralysis or any spinal problem which are started from any severe mental shock the remedy is causticum okay and then what we have intense sympathy for others doctors i am having this type of symptoms uh uh 
and a patient came and he will say that can i go can i talk with the uh, doctor for 2 minutes i have this urgent um uh, urgent uh, um uh, matter with doctor because my baby is suffering from fever and i have to discuss i can't take it here because of covid huh? i know you are suffering but can you can you give me just 2 minutes and he said okay your baby na okay 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 you just go you just go he will pull him back and let him pass exact opposite of opposite of nakshmika that's how this intense sympathy for suffering of others you don't have to be very charitable you don't have to be a very rich or you don't have to be some a social worker or like this ngo guy to have sympathy for others you can sense costicum from these small acts also he will sit there for next one hour also he, he will let him pass any pregnant lady he will let him pass any child he will let him pass any old old lady and he will say and he will say that no no i will go after them they are more important than me because they have this sympathy they have when we used to travel in bus we saw some guys who saw some lady or old lady or few uh, <clears throat> or few children or some old guy and they will give the give uh, give their seats to that old lady that child or that lady and he will <clears throat> he will uh, he will uh, travel his journey uh, uh, while only standing in spite of this heavy rush in the bus you can have your costicum at that pitch it may be or may not be but it is an ending how this you from this small acts you can see the sympathy he had sympathetic to that and there, there is also a feeling of injustice i am this i am healthy i am young despite that i am sitting and this old lady is standing so he they, he can't tolerate his injustice with himself also are you getting me that this is not right this is the injustice to that lady i am young i am in perfect shape and i can stand uh, in this bus for the next 2 hours but that lady can't so he will give his seat and he will be uh, he will uh, stay stand with rest of his journey but he will not utter the word and he will not show that and he will not show that that's how you can observe the things so intense sympathy for sufferings of others it not sympathy for others it is suffering they are suffering i am also suffering but they are suffering more than me so that's how you can identify costicum okay then we have pathological condition if a patient is having constipation then what he have frequent in ineffectual desire like nux he will go and he will come he will go he will come but he have to pass stool by standing which is not is not the case with nux sumika when i was in um, my um, m uh, in UG, uh, in pg in my department there used to come a patient a 7 year old a 7 year old boy who was suffering from duchenne's muscular dystrophy we have uh, we have uh, me might my base have been seen um, some 1000 patients in 3 uh, or 4 years of duchenne muscular dystrophy and we used to get 10 15 patients of duchenne's muscular dystrophy from various parts of country in at our uh, department and with and we we used to treat them with good results we are not claiming to be 
cure it, but we are having good result with this patient. Their CPK values are down and they can stand no more correctly. They are made much less fatigue. And uh, yeah, so I was seeing that uh, that patient, a seven year old boy who came to see me from a distant part of West Bengal. When I, when I first he, uh, took, his, took his case, took his case, he has all his stiffness, um, difficulty in getting up. And he has this type of constipation where when uh, where he, her mother, uh, his mother told me that uh, Dr. Saab, whenever he used to, uh, he goes to pass the stool, he cannot pass stool while sitting. He has to pass his stool by standing. After seeing so many patients of Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, I never encounter any patients, any any patient who has difficulty in passing stool while sitting, because they can sit. They can sit, but the problem is of getting up. That is this goer sign. But not any patient. We consider some things as common which are not. So if a patient comes with constipation and he can't, he get, can't get, uh, he can't pass stool without being standing, you, <clears throat> you cannot give causticum. So I gave this boy causticum and his rigidity was reduced and his CPK, uh, CPK levels, which used to be uh, almost 7,000 came to 1,000 in six months with this symptom of only this symptom. This is one type of paralysis. This is dystrophy and you are having gradual, gradual paralysis and the symptom is constipation. That patient has having constipation, but he only passes his stool while standing. Also in children, with nocturnal anesis, anuresis. If a patient came to you, you don't get this symptom, but you have constipation, frequent unusual desire, and the children is having nocturnal anuresis. He wets the bed, he don't go to the toilet regularly, or he goes, but he don't have, uh, he cannot pass the stool satisfactorily. Just think of causticum. Many patients came, <coughs> many uh, parents came to us uh, while saying that he passes stool, he, uh, he, he used to pass a small amount of stool every day. Sometimes in, um, uh, in, uh, he can soil his garment, but he, he passed only small, small stools. And he is having the problem of nocturnal enuresis. Give causticum. So what we have, we have a, a clinical condition and we have a concomitant or vice versa. We have nocturnal recesses which, and we have constipation, but constipation of this character. Okay. Second is paralysis, paralysis of single part, a leg, a hand, one part of leg, only one side, only this part of his face, like in Bell's palsy. After what he has having this from after exposure to cold wind. A patient came after riding in <coughs> riding a bike in the coldest night of winters. When I woke up in the morning, my face was like this doctor saw and I'm having I'm doing physiotherapy, but it's not getting better. Prescribe that patient causticum, right-sided paralysis of single parts, aggression from cold wind. We have to correlate these things. The paralysis will not happen by itself. There has to be some cause. We have to find it. We easily missed, uh, uh, skip this part. 
that yeah okay you have this pels palsy and okay so i can go gelsemium i can do it but how it can occur how it occurs okay so pathological condition then organ then sensation and there is cause and there is concomitant or the modality is also given that is it is gradually appearing okay paralysis is gradually like in dmd it is gradually first you take this muscle then get upward then upward then upward then upward one by one one by one one organ is <coughs> muscles are failing and it is getting paralysis okay so gradually appearing next it is relations complementary to carbo wedge and petroselinum you have given your patient causticum your patient came with cough hoarseness doctor sir i give i can't talk in morning i can't talk in morning after that after that i can talk in evening i am okay but at morning i can talk and i now came to you and you give causticum and he said doctor i am feeling much better now but after evening it got much worse now i am feeling very much very much better in morning but it is now it is evening that bothers me so the remedy the next remedy you will plan is carbo wedge no need to retook the case oh my god what i do it is only partially should i give sulfur should i give tuberculinum should i give no just see the relationship of causticum carbo wedge or rumex when the aggravation changes to evening your backup plan is ready now this type of patient are coming to us doctor saab i am having this ringworm and it is from this so many times i have to so much medicine i have so i have also consulted two three homeopaths and they have given me mercurius because it is it is aggravated at night and because it is not getting better they are given me sulfur many times many homeopaths given many things and after that patient came to us and first remedy we prescribe is caustic because it is ring worm many patient many doctors in many homeopaths use mercurius or sulfur nowadays it is beautifully written in this so you can get this type of idea many times patient didn't know what they have given but sometime it it is a one in a 100 thing that patient bought a prescription where it has written that is maxwell has given or just given or we can assume that sometime it is <clears throat> mistakenly these remedies are given and it has it has abused sometimes so not only we cannot start with seek just think about causticum okay so that's how we can read causticum and it now we can see the whole picture of causticum from beginning to the end and now we can <clears throat> question the patient more directly more precisely and we can get information more easily that's how we can finish a case in only 2 or 3 minutes patient came said what is the complaint this is the complaint <clears throat> what happens it did this happens in it okay what is uh, when it aggravates at that time okay then give this remedy you have covered this you have covered the objective part you have got the subjective part and you also cover the particular parts i have i uh, uh, because of short time i don't have, <coughs> i don't uh, prepared many cases but only one case is which i um, uh, which i had also shared at the, our uh, understanding allen whatsapp group is that <clears throat> and uh, which we can now relate with the our previous example I mean, that is causticum so uh the case of paralysis 
okay the patient came like this at my clinic so 70 years of female anemic having paralysis of right side sympathetic the example which i told you was the example of this lady that despite of his paralysis he let the patient continue with the let the other patient continue with his medicine uh, to to tell me his complaints because his son was because her son was sick okay after that he told me that there is a involuntary urination with cough he or she also get cough because of this uh, paralytic feeling and whenever she used to cough there is involuntary urination boric uh, allens first page last line and can tolerate flat doctor please turn off the fan na i can't get i can i get this chilly feeling too easy so what i saw a weak anemic patient that is solo complex his complaints was of right side and what he had he was sympathetic she was having involuntary he was cough cough which is having involuntary urination that is pathological term and the his concomitant and second was he, she cannot tolerate fan and the major thing was her daughter got divorced after 3 years uh, after 10 years of uh, after 10 after marrying for 10 years of a, of a guy and now she uh, she lives with her and that was the big blow to her after say after some time she developed this paralysis so brain affection after severe mental shock anemic which is solo complex which i see from free from my uh, my door paralysis of right side sympathetic patient which I, which i observed involuntary urination with cough where when she told that she had cough and with cough she used to pass small amount of urine and cannot tolerate fan so we made our totality and we gave her, we gave her causticum 1m 10m 50m and patient beautifully recovered with 3 months with no neural deficit this is only a beginning lecture so we will <coughs> be more thorough with our clinical application and we will be sharing more and more cases after this session so that we can understand how to apply this beautiful book into our practice it took me hardly 5 or 10 minutes to prescribe costicum to that lady i am having 10 more patients waiting at my waiting area and i have to justify with this patient or and i have to give time for my remaining patient also so when uh, <clears throat> things move fast you have to pace yourself so that's that is the main reason of starting this group and uh, 